This picture really kind of summarizes the system. What's the difference between TAC planning and location-based planning? Location-based planning focuses on the location-based planning aspect of it. TAC planning is a complete system. So if you look at this sketch, the first thing that you do up here at the top is you break out your building into zones. And so I've highlighted this little blue area. This is our first TAC zone. Then you go create a pull plan. And if you don't have your trade partners, you do the best with your sequence, with quantities, with production rates, with historicals. But if you have trade partners, you do a pull plan. And then that pull plan will enable you to create a tact master schedule because you were able to package that sequence together. You were able to optimize that sequence. Remember back over here to this little Excel template that I was showing you, optimize the sequence to where you're actually finishing when you ought to finish. From there, you're able to filter out of your tact plan, your six week make ready look ahead plan, your weekly work plan, and then your day plan. And so tact planning is an entire system. Let me take you through that quickly. The first thing that you do is you identify your tact zones. After that, you get quantities by zone if you have them. Most of the time, your estimators will have them. Most of the time, on screen takeoff, your model, you will have quantities, you will have production rates. We don't do enough of that. Then you create a pull plan for that one single tact zone, that one single representative area. Once you do that, you package and you level that work. And this is the most important part of tact planning, meaning you package those activities activities into tacked wagons. So you'll see there are two work packages inside this first tacked wagon. There's two in the second one. There's three in the third one. There's one in the fourth one. You get my point. Once you have packaged those activities, you're able to create a tacked legend and a tack plan. Now you're able to see trade flow. Now you're able to put it into a format that really enables production control on your project site. Once you do that, you finish all of the other parts and pieces of the schedule, your substantial completion date, your milestone, your start date, your elevators, all of the other pieces of the tax plan. And when you have that, you're really able to go do some really killer things.